Hi everyone, Mary Ayers here from Tap Into Action, and I'm glad you're here to tap with me today because we're going to be talking about self-compassion. So you know what gets talked about a lot is that critical voice and how we can be so hard on ourselves when we do something as if we've learned that that is the way to motivate us or to correct us or to have us grow is just to be hard on ourselves. And you know, but the idea behind um, that is it actually cranks up your nervous system and we get tense. And when we're tense, we don't learn as well. And not to mention the fact that we are right, we're, we're rolling into that stress response with uh, in our body and that affects our body. So, so soothing that primitive nervous system in us is what tapping does. And Ultimately, the more that we tap and learn to have this self-compassion, uh, it actually helps us to feel safe enough to take healthy risks that we need to take in order to grow. Okay, so I want you to think of this. I was I was reading this book, My Magic, and he made uh, Dr. Doty makes this wonderful um, statement about self com- self-compassion. He says, you know, if we can be okay with whatever we're feeling in the moment, then we're cultivating a self-compassion. And that self-compassion is the inner critic's kryptonite. I loved that statement, right? It's it's the inner critic's kryptonite, meaning that the more self-compassion that we have, the less power that inner critic has over us. This is the statement I want to read from him. Self-compassion has the power to heal the parts of us that make us feel chronically unsafe and unloved and transform them into vital sources of wisdom and compassion for herself and to be able to share with others. What I love about this, is the thing I've been saying for as long as I can remember, is even if we didn't get what we needed when we were growing up, we can acquire it now. That's the beauty of the neuroplasticity is, is that we are not stuck in the absence of what we didn't get. We can give it to ourselves and how we do that is with self-compassion. Now, those might be words to you right now because we may not know what that sounds like or what it feels like, but when we are gonna do some tapping on this, you're gonna get the exposure to both of those things. You're gonna learn what that sounds like and you're gonna learn and have the experience of giving that to yourself. Now at first, it may feel a little strange, it might be a little skeptical, but I encourage you to just continue with it. The body has to get used to feeling that kindness towards ourselves. So as you're doing some tapping, you're probably gonna come up with some yes buts. Pay attention to them. You can put actually address them and tap on them at a different time. This is the kind of, again, practice that we want to have to help our nervous systems to feel safe in the world, which will allow us to go out and grow and expand. Okay, so for what I want you to do right now is think of an area in your life when you are feeling stress. Okay, I know we're going to have to go a little bit into it to bring those feelings up. It might be about a relationship, it could be about work could be about health or money. Just think of some area in your life where you feel stressed. And I want you to feel that in your body. Notice where it is, because remember, this is about us being able to be present with these feelings so that then as we shower them with our self-compassion, we really soften them and teach ourselves that we can trust ourselves. Okay, so feel that. Give it a number if you wish to. Let's get on that karate chop. Even though I'm my own harshest critic, I'm choosing to accept myself and open myself to self-love. Here I go again, beating myself up. I never seem to really give myself a break. 
Lord knows I wouldn't talk to my best friend the way I talk to myself. But somehow I must think that I deserve this. And you know what? It is exhausting to be so hard on myself. I tell myself I can't do anything right. That inner voice is just relentless. But it saps my energy and my self-esteem, and I'm so tired of putting myself down. But what if I actually knew I didn't have to be perfect? Maybe I could notice the things that I'm doing well in my life. I'm just human, and human sometimes make mistakes. And that's okay. I am learning and growing every day. Heck, what would it feel like to be on my own side? And I don't have to believe every thought that I have. I can learn to listen and be kind to myself. I'm choosing to let myself be human with love and acceptance. I deserve that from me. I'm always doing the best I can from where I am right now. You know, it feels good to cut myself some slack. I'm embracing my perfectly imperfect self. Self-love doesn't mean that I stop growing. It actually gives me the permission to grow. Knowing that I can be there for myself when I do make mistakes. When I am in the learning phase, I'm not going to get it right, right away. But I can be there for myself. Even if that wasn't how I grew up, I can have that experience now. through my own acceptance and self-compassion. So I choose me. I choose self-love over self-criticism. Take a breath. Sit with this for just a second. Can you feel a little bit more lightness, a little bit more room, forgiveness? Okay. And if you can't right off the bat, don't worry. You know, if these things were just a snap and we were able to go this way, you know, you wouldn't be back. You wouldn't be tapping over and over and over again. Part of our forgiveness of ourselves and part of our seeing ourselves as human, we understand that we need repetition. We just understand that that's how we embed these good programs that help us grow. And if we're just willing to take the time to let ourselves know that we're okay, that we're not going to abandon ourselves, that we're going to be there while we're learning and while we're making mistakes, our sense of self-esteem is going to grow. We're going to take Um, We're going to make bigger pictures in our life. We're going to take more actions in our life because we know that it's safe to do so. I'm telling you, this is the biggest gift you could ever give yourself. 
come back, keep working with this kind of thing. It's a really important part of us being able to grow and to manifest and accept the things that we want, whether that be healing, love, success, finances. All right, we've got to leave the room for that stuff to come in. And when we feel safe, that we can make mistakes, that we can go and venture out, try new things, we can have those things in our life. This is the practice for that. All right, you guys, I would love to hear your responses to this. What are your experiences with some self-compassion? What are the things that get in the way for you? Did you hear something in here that might have triggered you or even gave you a reframe and made you think something differently? Let me know down in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and we will keep on tapping. We're going to continue to grow on a daily basis so that we can manifest the lives that we want. All right, everyone, until next time, today is a good day to tap.